name is Hayden Huntley and I work at the Institute for Astronomy. I've been here for around 11 years and I'm the computer guy. I'm not an astronomer, I'm a computer scientist. and So I keep the computers running and try and keep everything moving smoothly. Um, but I'm only one of many people. We have plenty of other people who do other parts of, of, the, uh, of the whole thing. For our operation, we have a small two meter telescope, but it's got a very wide angle view. And so our telescope will, um, will be able to hold seven full moons in one frame, which is quite a lot, because most big telescopes would only see a tiny fraction of the moon. And so we cover the whole night sky every few nights and we look for things that change. So we look for supernovas, we look for new asteroids and stuff like that. And together with uh, another group of telescopes in Arizona, um, we ha discover about half the asteroids and they discover about half the asteroids. So we keep pretty busy. And we feed our, our telescope doesn't have an eyepiece to look through. It's got an enormous camera. It, it's the size of a big pizza. And um, that, that takes all the images and then we feed them off to a series of computers and we uh, look for anything that's changed in, in our previous library of images. So that's how we find out about these things. Most of our computers here run Linux. Um, it's a well, there's many other people who can tell you the, the wonders and beautiful things of Linux, but for us it's really nice because it's a professional development environment. It's powerful, it's reliable, it's secure, and anytime you want to duplicate a machine, you don't have to get licenses and all that, you're free to do it. So um, we have uh, several hundred computers, most of them are in Manoa, maybe there's around 30 in this building here, and um, these behind me are the ones that the observers use for controlling our telescope. And then that group of four monitors is for monitoring the weather and stuff like that, because um, you don't want it to rain on your telescope. And then this group of four computers actually is connected to a Windows computer, and it runs the user interface for our second telescope. So mostly, I suppose I do programming, I fix hardware, um, I help us buy new gear. Um, Site alert clear. Being door open. Support building back door. <laughs> Between, or because we're poor starving uh, scientists, we buy mostly used computers and stuff. But I've been able to save us a lot of money by going that route. But sometimes I go over to Oahu to work over there too. Because um, we, we have a, a, a large cluster of computers. A couple of years ago, um, uh, the laser inferometry gravitational something or other, LIGO is what it's called. They have three gravity wave detectors on the planet and they pinpointed an area of the sky, maybe I shouldn't say pinpointed, but they narrowed it down to an area of the sky that, um, that there was an unusual event that they, they wanted to observe. And so because our telescope is so wide angle, we could um, look there and we could see what's changed and so we were able to help them find the first uh, kilonova and then another time um, we did the opposite thing we we discovered a very unusual asteroid that was traveling beyond solar system escape velocity escape velocity and so everybody else in the world turned their telescopes on that to track it down and they later named it Oumuamua always doing things to try and improve things. Um, keeping these telescopes running in, and in tip-top shape is a, a research project. And we've actually got one that's working on the sky and the other one that's been broken for a little while that we're almost got working again. Um, and we're constantly looking for ways to make the image quality better or to keep things from deteriorating, to fix things or, or do things better and stuff. We have many databases, and I actually keep track of some of them, but some of the other ones are, are other people's responsibility. And so we have like databases of all the images we've ever taken and where the telescope was pointing and what the image quality was and what it saw. And uh, it's, it's amazing how much data this whole thing um, 
accumulates.